I'm hot, you're hot, and apparently this soda is red hot. Yes, this is Picture Show Cinnamon Red Hot Soda. Uh, yeah, this is supposed to taste much like the classic red little cinnamon bits uh, candies that uh, you pop in your mouth. Uh, this just in liquid form. This is made by Boots Beverages. It's out of Belleville, Texas. And the cool thing about beverages from this company is that it's actually sweetened with real sugar. So on the side of this bottle, it reads... D.D. Kristen. D.D. was the official emergency office worker, as in IRS visits. She was flattered when she was told this one suited her to a T. Try it for inspiration and never underestimate the value of flattery. All right. On the official website, it reads, it tastes just like a candy red hot, but a liquid version. I love cinnamon stuff, and I'm just curious to see... Uh, how hot this actually is, if it's actually refreshing, if it tastes like cinnamon, or if it just tastes like absolute dumpster juice. Uh, we shall see. Mmm. It smells like the classic cinnamon red hot. All right. Picture show cinnamon red hot. Going in. Mmm. Ooh, it's sweet, it has that cinnamon kick, but it's not as powerful as I thought it would be. It's kind of tastes a little watered down. It's not that flavorful, surprisingly. I do have that like tingle of like a cinnamon uh, spice going down my throat. It's, a, it's just slightly hot. A little bit of heat. I want to say 0.2 out of 10 on the heat scale. Not hot at all. It just has that classic cinnamon spice kind of um, heat on the back of your throat after uh, a red hot or anything else like that. Man, this is very disappointing. It's like really just watered down and not so flavorful. I was ready for a ba boom, 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 you know, like red hot. Ooh, it's red hot, baby. And it's also picture show red. Ugh. I don't know if picture show is just slapped on there to maybe like, oh, harken back to a time when you'd go to the picture show and you see two movies for one or, you know, whatever. Uh, I always hear, uh, Old heads talk about that. Yeah, we go to the drive-in theater in the 1970s and see two movies. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm going to chug the rest of this, and then I will give you my full rating. Ah, a burp is coming very soon in my near future. Well, I guess when you chug it, you do get a rush of cinnamon flavor, but it still tastes very watered down. Like, think of, like, the flavor scale, or, like, if you do eat a Red Hot, that's 100%. This, on the other hand, it's like at a 60, or almost a 50, between 50 and 60, depending on if you chug it or you take little sips. If you chug it, it's at a 60. If you take little sips, it's about 50. Um, the rest of it is just like a, a classic sweet kind of carbonated taste. I think the carbonation takes away a little bit of the red hot cinnamon uh, taste as well. Yeah, yeah, it definitely does have the cinnamon red hot but, like I said, it is very, very tamed down. <coughs> Ooh, that was like a very smooth burp. Sometimes they're rugged, like, like you're in a Jeep. That was like a Corvette, just a... <coughs> there we go. That sounded like my very first car, 1977 Caprice. But, uh, yeah, this... 
Granted, you know, it, it does taste like Red Hots to a certain extent, just not as potent as the Red Hot candy. And I gave you that whole figure of 50 to 60%. So I will probably give this something right down the middle. Let's go right down the middle. 5.5 out of 10. That's what I'll rate this. Very disappointing. It's watered down. And it's not as flavorful as I think most people would expect. Would I recommend this? Give it a shot if you really do, you know, want to, if you're curious. But... Uh, I, I wouldn't try this again, no. Now, if anybody has a Red Hot story, uh, leave it in the comments below, but I'll give you my one and only Red Hot candy story. So, when I was a kid, uh, I was about 10 or 11, and my younger brother, he was 7, 8, something like that, and we went over to my grandma's house. She was married to another guy since I remember being born, you know, she was always married to this dude, but... Not my biological grandpa or anything. He was just always the dude, chilling. He was cool. So we visit there. We have our good time. And we get back into the Monte Carlo. Me and my brother sit in the back seat. And there was always some kind of loose candy from us eating in the back seat that would always just be rolling around and whatever. And I wound up finding a Red Hot between the back seat uh, cushion and the seat cushion, like right there in the crack where the uh, seat belts were and I picked it out and I was like oh yeah it had kind of like some fuzzies stuck to it from the seats and everything else and uh, my, our grandpa and grandma were standing there and they were just talking before we left the whole midwestern goodbye kind of deal you know there's like three stages one you get up two you actually walk out of the house and then three you get in the car and they lean in and you talk for a little bit and then you finally leave anyways we're in the third stage of the Midwestern goodbye, and I give this Red Hot to my grandpa-in-law or whatever, and I say, here you go, grandpa. He's like, oh, what's this? I was like, oh, it's bubble gum. So, <laughs> so we drive off. We don't see him pop the Red Hot in his mouth, and we get home, and then my grandma calls the house. My dad picks up, and my grandma is yelling wondering what we gave grandpa because grandpa as soon as he popped that red hot in his mouth thinking it was bubble gum he started chewing on it <laughs> and expecting just a sugary bubble gum taste but instead he got a red hot cinnamon taste and he rushed into the house and was flushing his mouth underneath the sink from that red hot <laughs> all i could think of was really from a Red Hot? I mean, even if it did catch you by surprise, Red Hots aren't that hot. Like, they're a candy. But, um, yeah, that was, that was a, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah, Andy yelled, Those little beasters gave me a Red Hot. Oh, my mouth is burning. <laughs> uh, so that was cool. But anyways, yeah. This Red Hot soda, on the other hand, a 5.5 out of 10 and uh oh my mouth is burning oh. <laughs> well thank you guys for watching this cheat day review i am dj glowing ice always wanting to remind you that it is okay to cheat every once in a while i'll see you next time <laughs>